Tickles. Tickles. Wait, is that Bo? Oh, I love him so much. Please, taking it so seriously. Yeah. It warms my heart that he's so extra. He just makes life so much more lively. One shot. Maybe I got some T-Rex tacos for you. Uh, what the uh, is this? Are you ready for Mexico? Uh, is this like a sexual thing? Ooh. <laughs> I love to do silly things to make Stassi laugh. Because when she laughs, it warms my heart. <laughs> Syrup chili and brain. And this is why I love Bo so much. Okay, that takes up a lot of room. So we're going to have to discuss this. What the f***? What is happening here? I wanted to dress up as a knight for guys and I because, hello, we're in a freaking castle. You can call me Sir Ladle's a lot. Sir Ladle's a lot. He slays soups and he drinks shots. He can tire some hot damn fires, boy. Woo! My name is Luke. And I love shoes. Excuse me, son. Please. <laughs> Oh my god, it's gotta go. Oh no. No. It's no. gotta go. I have my trimmer. The I... battery is dead. Alright, cool. Yeah. So we're never having sex again. You don't have to look at me. Thanks for calling in on dining. This is Alice. How may I assist you? Hello. Hi. May I place an order right now? Certainly. And are you in room 3281? Yes, indeed. What would you like to order? May I have a Bloody Mary? Oh, do you have an English muffin? Certainly. Anything else for you? No, that's it. Thank you, Mrs. Clark. Okay, Mrs. Clark. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. They called me Mrs. Clark. I caught the bouquet Hello yesterday. Here. I'm honestly not used to this. Bo shows how much he cares for me. Are you kidding me? Uh, son of a bitch. Can you get out your blow dryer? Why? No reason. Still hungover. And I made you a drink. Oh my god. Look at you. You're like the drunk blonde Ray Charles right now. <laughs> he just looks at me with those Bambi eyes. Like I'm a hunter with a gun pointed at him. And it just melts my ice cold heart. I wore PJs on the freaking PJ. I don't wear PJs out or on airplanes because sometimes I get like wind boners. We can't control that. We can think of like, Potato salad, potato salad, but it's it's just it's come up. It takes a lot of courage to stop a mid blow job. There's gold hardware. Do you have movies on the back of the seats? <laughs> hey, hey. You do do not let looks like we made it be your wedding song. Oh my god, that is my wedding song. Wait, like, is that really your wedding yes. song? Yes. Looks like we made it. That's your yes. wedding song. She loves Shania Twain. Oh, oh that's sorry, cute. that was a joke. Why? Why? Like, oh. oh. Because we went through hell and back. Yeah, no, I know, but it's no, it's okay. No, it's good. It's great. Because it's a song about proving everybody wrong and making it. Like after everyone's saying, oh, it's not gonna work. No, no, I know. I get it. You know, I get it. I'm just. I thought you were kidding. No, no, is that really in the song? Yes, yes it, it is. is. Oh, yes, dude. Oh, no, no. You made it so much worse. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, no, it's great. It's a great song. I love Shania. For Jackson and Brittany to dance to "You're Still the One" by Shania Twain at their wedding is just. Perfect. I look just like, oh my god, you weren't gonna make it, but then we proved everybody Great. wrong. The very thing that Jackson and Britt have forbidden people to talk about is literally written in the lyrics of this song. Right, right, right. No, I just, I thought it was made. Oh, I get it now. Hello. If I can't get it, you can't get it. Shut up. Who's your daddy? She's also the first person girl that I was like, oh, this is my best friend. You oh, never told me that. If I would tell you that, then you're like, oh, it's just because you're trying to tell me that. I'm like, no, you literally, you're my best friend. 
Can I ask you guys something? When? I really have to be. <laughs> okay. Please, please. Please don't embarrass me while I'm gone. But you won't be here. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just going to turn my audio on my phone, <laughs> voice record, and leave it here. Please. I love him very much. I love him. And I'm very happy that he's with you. He really loves you. I know. So I know that I'm a mother, but it's like, I want to go, don't hurt him. <laughs> he really loves you. So I haven't listened to this yet, but this is what I recorded when I left. I really hope that it's not freaky when I say that I hope you're my future mother-in-law. Are you kidding me? I love that. I feel the same way, Stussy. I love both so much. So f***ing much. And I, I just thank you. Thank you for loving my son like that. You know? Yeah, I think it went well between them. Chef Bo Hardy. Oh, Today, we're gonna make a baked potato. Because everything goes with your name. Yes, if it doesn't go with my name, I'm not cooking it. So you just lay the ham over the potatoes, and then I got some sliced mozzarella. I post funny cooking videos. It's just basically me and Stasi bickering that I made a alter ego, and hey, Chef Bordy. Talk in an accent the rest of this video. What accent? A New England accent. You like apples? How about this apples? We're making potatoes, not apples. Now do Italian accent. You put the ham on the potatoes. Irish accent. Oh, do you like potatoes? That's like so much cheese. This is going to help you look really good in your bridal gown. What is it called? Bridesmaid gown? Bridesmaid. Yeah, you might need to get that altered after this. And then you put it in the oven at 350 degrees for 40 minutes. Just pissed off about the text message. I mean, like, you were nasty to my girlfriend. You were nasty to your friend. You sent a nasty f***ing text message. Did. You should apologize for it in a better way than just coming into the, the hotel lobby and whatever you said to her. I mean, I feel like she owes me an apology as well. I don't think she does. The fact that she screamed, belittled me, attacked me in front of customers. Yell at me out back. They weren't customers. Yell at me. They no, they fans. are customers. They are well, paying customers. Those were her customers. It was at my place, and they those were, were actually customers. my customers. No, those were her customers. No, those she are my customers, it. bro. Uh, I'm going to say no. When I first met Sandoval, I thought he was just a really cool guy. Oh, Tom, because it's not about you? Oh, you're just jealous, Tom. But after all this stuff, it's just like... He's kind of a dick. That's why I don't have sex with her. Wow. Dude, I gotta say no or that. Oh, boom, boom, boom. No, no, sit no, down no. on this one. It was... I'm not gonna sit down. Sit I down. Won't. Listen, I'm not you... looking for you to agree with me ever. The way that Schwartz is talking to Katie, it's just like venom. You literally, you, it's like you dick punched my heart. I don't want to do that to you. So how are we gonna change that? I don't know. <laughs> I look at every fight as a learning experience. Find out why you get so reactive, you know? I'm not walking away. We'll work this out. I'm in love with her. These freak outs that Stasi has had with me are awful. I'm really sorry. But 99.9% .9 of the time, we are so freaking good, so freaking in love, it's it's not gonna ruin our future. We're growing, we're literally growing, and I'm wanting to take the steps, and I'm taking the steps. I'm patient, so I love you. Can you just kiss me? Love you. Both my parents have been, they're both on marriage number four. We're not our parents. Yeah. Look at the way you look at each other. I love him so much. I know, it hurts. It does, it hurts, it hurts. It's going to be okay. I promise him. You should just enjoy each day. Moment to moment. Yeah. I've been playing in this engagement for probably about six months now. Sassy's got no clue. Being in the summer, she started talking about how after her grandmother passed that she wanted to go look for mausoleums oh, for like her own. <laughs> and all of a sudden when she said that, it was like a light bulb. Um, I'm going to find a mausoleum that maybe there's like a gate that I can like put on like a rock looking ring box. So I could be like, babe, what is that? And I was already down on a knee. Oh, it's better than what she could dream of for herself. I want to marry Stasi because she is the most important person in my life. We laugh together. She's beautiful. She's funny. She's charming. We have the same, like, sarcastic humor. When I'm around her, I don't want to be around anyone else. She's the first person that I think about, like, having an amazing future with and having kids with. We don't even have to say anything. We can just, like, look at each other 
and eat freaking mac and cheese, and everything in the world is freaking perfect. <laughs> 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 When I die, I just want it to be like a haunted house theme, and then there there'll be tray passers, and they're all gonna look like me. Uh, yeah, I mean, Stasi makes everything fun. No. And I want to be taxidermied so that people can come and take selfies with me. Because there's a lot of things that she likes that I just, that are just not fun for me. Sheena will literally move my dead body <laughs> so that she can take the selfie on her good side. God, that's so messed up. It creeps me out. It really, it really does creep me out. But I smile. If Bo and I buy a mausoleum, then he has to propose to me. Oh, there's swans. That's pretty. See? This is where we're going to be buried. So morbid. It's the perfect way to ensure that he is committing a lifetime and after lifetime to me. If I were to die suddenly, you would be so thankful that I had everything set up so you're just free to mourn and live a lonely life. All right, well, why don't we find like a place to sit? I just want to wow her and impress her so bad. I mean, this is like the beginning of our life together. This is nice, I guess. I wonder what that is. Do you see that? What? Is that an urn? Oh my god, is that like a, a bell? Looks like is that one of those things that like, when you're dead people, you should... Oh, no, it couldn't be. Ooh. Oh my god. What is that? I don't think I should touch this. Saucy. <laughs> I love you so much. You've literally turned my world upside down in the best way possible. And uh, there's nobody else that I want to spend the rest of my life with. And will you take this ring and will you marry me? Oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, are you serious? Oh, my God. I think I'm supposed I think, to put it I on. Think it, wait, yeah. hold on, I get to say yes. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yes. Isn't that what I'm supposed to say? It better. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Oh my god! I, how did that even? Oh my! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> this is the most beautiful ring I've ever seen. It's a family heirloom. It's from my dad and my aunt. I feel like I'm a part of history. Like it's so perfect. It's so perfect. Good for me. Good. This is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I got to wear this all the time. Yeah. I love you. I love you so much. I'm so excited. This is the best day of my life. Oh, they're coming. Should we walk in holding hands? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know either. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, it's beautiful. It's oh, stunning. So Did he do a good job? And most, better than I could have ever imagined. It well, was... I know. I know this is a lot to take in, okay? And it's a big surprise. But it's just about to get even better. Surprise! To walk through Lisa's door and see my whole family here, I'm shook. My dad still lives in New Orleans, and my mom lives in Lake Arrowhead. So it is very rare to have my whole family together at once. I mean, it couldn't be more special that Bo did this. All right, no more lies. That's it. That's <laughs> I have a dress if you want to wear it, but I do think you look gorgeous. I, I feel great. It doesn't matter. I you feel great. Beautiful. Thank you. You've got this. You don't need anything. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yay. Okay. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Saucy just looks so happy. It's the best day of my life. Mine too. I'm just so happy. We have so much to look forward to. Not just mausoleums. Like this. Yeah. Will be ours one day. LA? West Hollywood? Wherever we can make a home that's like this. I've always been so judgy when people are like, thank you for making me feel like the luckiest girl in the world. Ugh. But I truly am. I'm engaged, mother <laughs> You made me so happy. Thank you. You're welcome.